14 billion years ago, the universe was born in the Big Bang. Ladies, gentlemen, and those beyond the binary. But this is what happened in the first seconds, just after it, determined the structure of matter we are all made of. I'm a particle physicist, and in my research, I try to understand how the world around us is made out of its most basic constituents. In the beginning, the universe was hot, dense, and filled only with the most fundamental building blocks of matter called elementary particles. Then, while extending and cooling, the atoms were created. In the center of the simplest hydrogen atom, we can find a tiny proton. And I ask, is it the most fundamental particle? What actually is the proton? Well, the short answer is, the proton, it's a mess. It's a complete mess with a complicated internal structure. While the hydrogen atom could be compared to a beautiful, well-organized ballet dance when the electron is dancing elegantly around the proton, the proton itself would be a rock concert full of drunk, sweaty people bumping into each other. <laughs> Proton is full of, as far as we know, elementary particles called quarks and antiquarks and gluons, binding everything together. They are constantly interacting with each other and they are in constant movement. It's a mess. In my experiment called STAR, I reproduced conditions few seconds just after the Big Bang to look inside the proton. I'm especially curious how its magnetic properties, which determine the stability of matter and like the foundation of the fields of chemistry and biology, arise out of its messy mosh pit structure. I smash protons, accelerated almost to the speed of light, and studied the debris of these collisions in huge particle detectors to ultimately probe the direct interaction between the basic constituents of the proton. And what have I learned? Well, first of all, that nature is quite complicated. We learned that gluons play an extremely important role in describing the magnetic properties of the proton. It's a crucial step in understanding the fundamental structure of matter which makes me, you, and our whole world. But as physicists, it just tickled our curiosity. We are building an even more precise experiment called electron-ion collider to look even deeper into the proton and actually to get closer to answering the question, why does the universe exist as it is? Thank you.